Well, Padre fans, the move is happening here as the Padres have made a free agent signing to help shore up the infield a bit here. Welcome back to Clemox. I'm Gillis TV, and if you're new to the channel and like anything MLB related news, trades, whatever there is, live streams, we have it covered here on the channel. channel. No matter what the team is, we'll have it here for you folks. So let's get to the video today as the Padres have agreed to a deal with free agent second baseman Rojned Odor reports from John Heyman of the New York Post. Odor, a client of Beverly Hills Sports Council, has already arrived at the Padres camp this morning, tweets AJ Casavell of MLB.com. After this was brought out, there was some more kind of added on to it. Odor and the Padres agreed to a minor league deal with an invite to spring training tweets from Casavell, Kevin Ace of the San Diego Union Tribune adds that Odor still needs to pass a physical before the deal becomes official. The process will get underway shortly. That was a few hours ago when that was coming. Odor, still just 29 years old, reached the big leagues as a 20-year-old with the Rangers back in 2014 and by 2016 looked like one of baseball's youngest players. Our best young second baseman. To that point of his career, he slashed a 265 while steadily, steadily increasing his power output. Odor built at 33 home runs in 2016, offsetting a woeful 3.0 walk rate and a 296 OBP with huge power, solid bat at ball skills, and quality defense at second base. Now, Odor kind of is famous to the Toronto Blue Jays in a sense is... Back in the day, punching Jose Batista and all that happening and being part of that team that, you know, the Blue Jays kind of just walked off on and the bat flip, that was when Odor was at his best. The ability to make contact he won over the years, however, Odor, Odor's production at the plate has been dismissal of late. Dating back to 2019, he's a 201 hitter. He's began to take more walks, but his 7.6% walk rate over that past four seasons is still below average. Meanwhile, his once 27.8% since 2019, he did improve on that front with the Orioles last season with the 23.1, but the 2022 season also included Odor's lowest power output since his rookie season, 13 home runs in 472 plate appearances, and a 1.150 ISO. San Diego currently ha projects to have right-handed bats at third base shortstop and second base, as well as a right-handed bench or bat on the bench as well. Odor will complete compete for a spot at the lefty option of the bench, joining non-roster invites veterans like David Dahl, Preston Tucker, Afonso Rivas, and Max Schrock in that regard. He's also give the Padres some depth during the World Baseball Classic with both Kim and Bogarts away from the club representing their represented countries. The agreement between the Padres and Odor marks yet another reunion before or er, between former Rangers farmhand and Padres president of baseball operations, A.J. Preller, who previously was assistant GM in Texas over the past several years under Preller. The Padres have also been looked at veterans such as Profort, Kinsler, Mazzara, Kella, Moreland, Carl Edwards Jr., and Luis Sardinas, among many others. The current roster features... Former Rangers, Hugh Darvish, Nelson Cruz, and Nick Martinez. So with this, you know, Odor still has that really good defensive capabilities in the outfield. It's the bat that's worrisome, but we see a lot of teams go out and get these defensive players for the late innings where, yeah, okay, they might bat one or two times or in the game, but it's more of a defensive game at the end of the game where they use these guys. And Odor, I believe, could be, you know, one of those guys that goes in there and says, hey, look, you want all these guys to bat in the front of the lineup? Go straight ahead. I will be your boy to go out there, 
play a defensive game, save a couple runs, and so on and so forth. Last season with the Baltimore Orioles, Odor had 426 at bats for a 207 average, which was well below his average, with 13 home runs, 53 RBIs, and six stolen bases. Over the course of his career, he has 3,906 at bats for a 231 average, 174 home runs, 550 RBIs, and 68 stolen bases. So Odor can still steal bases. He still has that contact where he can get the RBIs. And, you know, yes, maybe a change of scenery does change people. And that could be Odor's thing where going to a different ballpark under new management, under playing with new teammates where the game plan's different, Odor might fit into this way better than he did with the Baltimore Orioles. And he he's one of those guys that does have power in a, his bat. I'm not expecting 33 home runs like his rookie season. I'm expecting, you know, in that 15 to 22 range where it's a good chunk of amount to help the team out and get you to those 60 plus RBIs a season and just be the guy that, you know, can go out there and provide at the bottom of the order. Now, if that's not what the Padres want, they just want the defensive side of things. He is a good defense defender on the field and can play multiple positions. He can play third. He can play shortstop. He can play second. So one of those guys go down with injury. He is there in case they really need. So for Odor, I could see him being utilized, but he has to go earn that spot. He is only 29 years old. He is at the peak of his career right now, in a sense of talking about peaks. He's beginning of the peak of his career. He can go show them what they have and go on and do what he needs to do. Because, you know, for 29 years old, it's a slump. Players go through multiple years slumps and people don't realize it because they're still producing at a regular basis just not as much as they were when they came into the league. And we've seen that with Odor with the 33 home runs in his first couple seasons there, or his rookie season, and it's dropped down to 13 by the age of 29. It also comes down to the quality of pitching, and one thing I like to always bring up, the Orioles are in the AL East. I'm sorry, but besides maybe one other division, the AL East is the hardest division to play in. And that's why a lot of people do not go, I got to sneeze, my bad. A lot of people don't go to the AL East because it is hard to play in. You don't know who the top four teams are going to be every year. You look at last season with the Jays and Yankees. Aaron Judge went on an unbelievable tear. Yeah, the Yankees won the division, but only by nine games. And the Jays didn't have any of those guys going on unbelievable tears. You never know. The AL East pitching is hard. It has improved, so maybe a change of scenery is a thing for Odor. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm on out of here.